Good morning. Welcome back to our Chronological Bible Reading. I'm Ray Reynolds, the minister of the Somerville Church Christ. We are reading in Ezra today, beginning in chapter 7. So I want to encourage you to grab a copy of God's Word. You may want a notepad, too, to take notes as we read the Word of God together. Let's, let's dig in. Now, after these things, in the reign of Artaxerxes, king of Persia, Ezra, the son of Sariah, the son of Azariah, the son of Hilkiah, the son of Shalom, the son of Zadok, the son of Ahitub, the son of Amariah, the son of Azariah, the son of Meraloth, the son of Zerahiah, the son of Uzi, the son of Bucky, the son of Abishua, the son of Phinehas, the son of Eleazar, the son of, son of Aaron, the chief priest. This Ezra came up from Babylon, and he was a skilled scribe in the law of Moses, which is the Lord God of Israel had given. The king granted him all his requests according to the hand of the Lord God upon him. Some of the children of Israel, the priests, the Levites, the singers, the gatekeepers, uh, the Nethanim, came up to Jerusalem in the seventh year of King Artaxerxes. And Ezra came to Jerusalem in the fifth month, which is in the seventh year of the king. On the first day of the first month, he began his journey from Babylon. And on the first day of the fifth month, he came to Jerusalem, according to the good hand of God upon him. For Ezra had prepared his heart to seek the law of the Lord and to do it and to teach his statutes and ordinances in Israel. This is the copy of the letter that King Artaxerxes gave Ezra the priest, the scribe, expert in the words of the commandments of the Lord and of his statutes to Israel. Artaxerxes, king of kings, to Ezra the priest, a scribe of the law of the God of heaven, perfect peace, and so forth. I issue a decree that all those, the people of Israel and the priests and the Levites in my realm who volunteer to go up to Jerusalem may go with you. And whereas you're being sent by the king and his seven counselors to inquire concerning Judah and Jerusalem with regard to the law of the law of your of your God, which is in your hand, and whereas you are to carry the silver and gold which the king and the counselors have freely offered the God of Israel, whose dwelling is in Jerusalem, and whereas all the silver and gold that you may find in the province of Babylon, along with the free will offering of the people and the priests, are to be freely offered for the house of their God in Jerusalem. Now, therefore, be careful to buy with this money bulls, rams, and lambs with their grain offerings and their drink offerings, and offer them on the altar of the house of your God in Jerusalem. And whatever seems good to you and your brethren do to do, to do with the rest of the silver and gold, do it according to the will of your God. Also, the articles that are given to you for the service of the house of your God, deliver in full before the God of Jerusalem. And whatever more may be needed in the house of your God, which you have an occasion to provide, pay for it from the king's treasury. And I, even I, Artaxerxes the king, issue a decree to all treasurers who are in the region beyond the river, that whatever Ezra the priest, the scribe, the law of God uh, of heaven, may require of you, let it be done diligently, up to 100 talents of silver, 100 cores of wheat, 100 baths of wine, 100 baths of oil and salt, without prescribed limit. Whatever is commanded by the God of heaven, let it diligently be done for the house of the God of heaven. For why should there be wrath against the realm of the king and his sons? Also, we inform you that it shall not be lawful to impose tax, tribute, or custom on any of the priests, Levites, singers, gatekeepers, uh, Nephinim, or servants of the house of God. And you, Ezra, according to your God-given wisdom, set magistrates and judges who may judge all the people who are in the region beyond the river, all such as know the laws of your God, and teach those who do not know them. Whoever will not ob observe the law of your God and the law of the king, let judgment be executed speedily on him, whether it be death or banishment or confiscation of goods or imprisonment. Blessed be the Lord God of our fathers, who has put such a thing as it in the king's heart, to beautify the house of the Lord with chosen Jerusalem and extend mercy to me before the king and his counselors and before all the king's mighty princes. So I was encouraged as the hand of the Lord my God was upon me and I gathered leading men of Israel to go up with me. These are the heads of the father's houses. and This is the genealogy of those who went up with me from Babylon in the reign of King Artaxerxes, the son of Phinehas, Gershom, and the sons of Ethamar, Daniel, of the sons of David, Hattush, the sons of Shechaniah and the sons of Parosh, Zechariah, and registered with him were 150 males. The son of uh, Pehath Moab, uh, Eliaholonal, and the son of Zechariah, 
uh, and with him 200 males of the sons of Shechaniah, Ben Jahaziel, and with him 300 males of the sons of Aden, Ebed, the son of Jonathan, with him 50 males of the sons of Elam, Jeshiah, the son of Athaliah, and with him 70 males, and of the sons of Shephiah, Zebediah, the son of Michael, and with him 80 males of the sons of Joab. Obadiah, the son of Jahiel, uh, with him about two, with him 218 males. Of the sons of Shelemeth, ben Josephiah, with him 160 males. Of the sons of uh, Babai, Zechariah, the son of Babai, with him 28 males. Of the sons of Asgad, Johanan, the son of Hakatim, and with him 110 males. Of the last sons of Adonikim, whose names are these, Eliphlet, Jael, and Shemaiah, and with them 60 males, all of the sons of Bigvi, Uthai, and Zabub, uh, with 70 males. Now I gathered them by the river that flows to Ahava, and we camped there three days, and I looked among the people and the priests and found none of the sons of Levi there. Then I sent for Eliezer, Ariel, Shemaiah, Elnathan, uh, Jarib, El Nathan, Nathan, Zechariah, and Meshulam, leaders also for uh, Joirib and Enathan, men of, men of understanding. And I gave them a command for Ido, the chief man, at the place of Kaisphia. And I told them that they should go to Ido and his brethren, the Nethanim, at the place of Kaisphia, and they should bring us servants to the house of our God. Then, by the good hand of the God upon us, they brought up the man of understanding of the sons of Malai, the sons of Levi, the sons of Israel, namely Sherebiah with his sons and brothers, 18 men, and Hashbiah with uh, him, uh, Jeshiah, the sons of Merari, his brothers, their sons, 20 men. Also of the Nethanim, whom David and the leaders had appointed for service Levites, 220 Nethanim. All of them were designated by name. Then I proclaimed a fast there at the river of Ahava, where we might humble ourselves before God to seek him the right way for us, for our little ones and our possessions. For I was ashamed of the request of the king, an escort, escort of uh, soldiers and horsemen, to help us against the enemy on the road, because we had spoken to the king, saying, The hand of our God is upon all for God who seek him. But his power and his wrath were against all those who forsake him. So we fasted and entreated our God for this, and he answered our prayer. And I separated 12 of the leaders of the priests, Sherebiah, Hashbiah, and 10 of their brethren with them, and weighed out for them silver, the gold, the articles, the offering for the house of our God, which the king, counselors, and his princes, and all Israel who were present had offered. I weighed into their hands 650 talents of silver, silver articles weighing 100 talents, 100 talents of gold, 20 golden basins worth 1,000 drachmas, and two vessels of fine polished bronze, precious as gold. And I said to them, You are holy to the Lord. The articles are holy also, and the silver and the gold are a freewill offering to the Lord God of your fathers. Watch and keep them until you weigh them before the leaders and the priests and the Levites and the heads of the fathers' houses in Israel and Jerusalem in the chambers of the house of the Lord. So the priests and the Levites received the silver, the gold, the articles by weight to bring them to Jerusalem to the house of our God. Then we departed from the river Hava on the twelfth day of the first month to go to Jerusalem. And the hand of our God was upon us, and he delivered us from the hand of the enemy and from ambush along the road. So we came to Jerusalem and stayed there three days. Now on the fourth day, the silver and the gold and the articles were weighed in the house of our God by the hand of Merimoth, the son of Uriah, the priest. And with him was Eliezer, the son of Phinehas. With them were the Levites, Jazabad, the son of Jeshua, and Nodiah, the son of Benui. With them, the number and the weight of everything. All the weight was written down at that time. The children of those who had been carried away captive, who had come from captivity, offered burnt offerings to the Lord God of Israel, 12 bulls for, the, for all Israel, 96 rams, 77 lambs, and 12 male goats as a sin offering. All this was a burnt offering to the Lord. And they delivered the king's orders to the king's satraps and the governors in the region beyond the river. So they gave support to the people and the house of God. When these things were done, the leaders came to me, saying, The people of Israel and the priests and the Levites have not separated themselves from the peoples of the lands. With respect to the abominations, the Canaanites, the Hittites, the Perizzites, the Jebusites, the Ammonites, the Moabites, the Egyptians, and the Amorites. 
For they have taken some of their daughters as wives for themselves and their sons, so that the holy seed is mixed with the peoples of the lands. Indeed, the hand of the leaders and rulers have been foremost in this trespass. So when I heard this thing, I tore my garment and my robe and plucked out some of the hair on my head and beard. I sat down astonished. Then everyone who trembled at the words of the God of Israel assembled to me because of the transgressions of those who had been carried away captive. And I sat astonished until the evening sacrifice. At the evening sacrifice, I rose from my fasting and having torn my garment and my robe, I fell on my knees and spread out my hands to the Lord, my God. And I said, O oh my God, I am too ashamed and humiliated to lift up my face to you, my God, for our iniquities have risen higher than our heads and our guilt has grown up to the heavens. Since the days of our fathers to this day, we have been very guilty and for our iniquities, we, our kings and our priests have been delivered into the hands of the kings of the lands, to the sword, to captivity, to plunder, and to humiliation as it is to this day. And now for the little uh, while, uh, grace has been shown from the Lord our God to leave us a remnant to escape and to give us a peg in this holy place and that our God may enlighten our eyes and give measure of revival to our bondage. For we were slaves, yet our God did not forsake us in our bondage. But he extended mercy to us in the sight of the kings of Persia to revive us, to repair the house of our God, to rebuild its ruins, and to give us a wall in Judah and Jerusalem. And now, O oh our God, what shall we say after this? For we have forsaken your commandments, which you commanded by your servants and prophets, saying, The land which you are entering to possess is an unclean land. And with the uncleanliness of the peoples of the lands, with their abominations, which I have filled, which have filled it from one end to the other with their iniquity. Now, therefore, we do not do not give your daughters as wives to their sons, nor take their daughters as your to your sons, and never seek the peace or prosperity that you may be strong and eat the good of the land and leave it as an inheritance to your children forever. And after all that has come upon. Uh, us for our evil deeds and for our great guilt, since you, O oh, our God, have punished us less our iniquities uh, deserve, and have given us such deliverance as this, should we again break your commandments and join in the marriage of the people committing these abominations? Would you not be angry with us until you had consumed us, so that there would be no remnant or survivor? O oh, God of Israel, you are righteous. For we are left as a remnant as it is this day. Here we are before you in our guilt, though no one can stand before you because of this. Now while Ezra was praying and while he was confessing, weeping, and bowing down before the house of God, a very large assembly of men, women, and children gathered to him from Israel, for the people wept very bitterly. And Shechaniah, the son of Jehiel, one of the sons of Elam, spoke up and said to Ezra, We have trespassed against our God and have taken pagan wives from the peoples of the land. Yet now there is hope in Israel in spite of this. Now therefore, let us make a covenant with our God to put away all the wives and those who have been born to them according to the advice of my master and of those who tremble at the commandment of our God. And let it be done according to the law. Arise, and for this matter is your responsibility. We also are with you. Be of good courage and do it. Then Ezra arose and made the leaders of the priests, the Levites, and the Israel, Israel swear an oath that they would do according to this word. They swore an oath. Then Ezra rose before the house of God and went into the chamber of Jehoahan, the son of Eliashib. And when he came there, he ate no bread, drank no water, for he mourned because of the guilt of those from captivity. And they issued a proclamation throughout Judah and Jerusalem to all the descendants of the captivity that they must gather at Jerusalem and that whoever would not come within three days according to the instructions of the leaders and elders, all his property would be confiscated and he would be separated from the assembly to those uh, from those of the captivity. So all the men of Judah and Benjamin gathered at Jerusalem within three days. It was the ninth month on the 20th day of the month. And all the people sat in the open square of the house of God, trembling because this matter and because of heavy rain. Then Ezra, the priest, stood up and said to them, You've transgressed and have taken pagan wives, adding to the guilt of Israel. Now therefore make confession to the Lord God of your fathers and do his will. Separate yourselves from the peoples of the land and from your pagan wives. Then all the assembly answered and said with a loud voice, Yes, as you've said, we must do it. But there are many people... It is for the season for heavy rain, and we are not able to stand outside. Nor is this work of one or two days, for there are many of us who have transgressed in this matter. Please let the leaders of our entire assembly stand, and let us, let all those who are in the cities 
that take pagan wives who've taken pagan wives come at appointed times together with the elders and the judges of the cities until the fierce wrath of our God is turned away from us in this matter. Only Jonathan, the son of Azahel, and Jehaziah, the son of Tikva, op oppressed this, and Meshulam and Shabbatai, the Levite, gave them support. Then the descendants of the captivity did so, and Ezra the priest, with certain heads of the father's households, were set apart by the father's households, each of them by name, and they sat down on the first day of the tenth month to examine the matter. At the first, By the first day of the first month, they finished questioning all the men who had taken pagan wives. And among the sons of the priests who had taken pagan wives where the following were found, the sons of Jeshua, the son of Josedach, with his brothers, Messiah, uh, Eliezer, Jerob, and Gadaliah. And they gave their promise that they would put away their wives, being guilty, presented a ram of the flock with their trespass offering. Also the sons of Immer, Hanani, and Zebediah, of the sons of Haram, Messiah, Elijah, Shemaiah, Jahiel, and Uzziah, of the sons of Pasher, Elenea, uh, Masiah, Is Ishmael, Nethanel, uh, Jazabad, and uh, El Elisah. Also the Levites, Jozabad, Shemai, Kaliah, the same as Kalida, uh, Pethahiah, Judah, and Eliezer. Also the singers, Eliashib and the gatekeepers, Shalom, Telem, and Uri, and others of Israel, the sons of Perosh, Ramiah, Jeziah, uh, Malchiah, uh, Majamin, Eliezer, Malchijah, and Benaiah, the sons of Elam, Madaniah, Zechariah, Jahiel, Abdi, Jermoth, and Eliah. Of the sons of Zatu, Ilianai, Eliashib, Madaniah, Jermoth, Zabad, and Aziza. Of the sons of Babai, uh, Jehohan, Hananiah, Zabai, and Athali. Of the sons of Bani, uh, Meshulam, Maluk, Adaiah, Jeshub, Sheel, and Ramoth. The sons of Peath Moab, Adna, Chalai, Benaiah, uh, Masiah, Madaniah, Bezalel, Benui, and Manasseh. Of the sons of Haram, Eliezer, Ishijah, Malchijah, Shemaiah, and Shimeon. Benjamin, Maluk, and Shemariah. Uh, the sons of Hashum, Madaniah, Madanaha, Zabad, Eliphet, Jeremiah, Manasseh, and Shemai. Of the sons of Bani, Madai, Amram, Uiel, uh, Benaiah, Badiah, Shalua, Vaniah, Merimoth, Eliashib, Madaniah, Madanai, and Jesai, Bani, Benui, Shemiel, Shelemiah, Nathan, Adiah, Machnidabiah, uh, Shashai, Shariah, Azarel, uh, Shelemiah, Shamariah, Shalom, Amariah, and Joseph. Of the sons of Nebo, Jael, Mattathiah, Zabad, Zabina, uh, Jadai, Joel, and Benaiah. All these had taken pagan wives, and some of them had wives by whom they had children. Really appreciate you joining us today for our time of Bible reading, and we hope that you'll join us again tomorrow as we start the book of Nehemiah. Until then, have a blessed day.